it's time for me to just like come all the way out of the closet like it is what it is new york to shot town what's up youtube gang it's your girl fine china and i'm back with another lit video let's get it so today y'all guess what i'm gonna be talking about well y'all probably already know from the title so y'all probably like girl we know what you're talking about that's why we clicked it but um today i'm gonna be telling you guys about my coming out story yes how it was when i came out how my family felt like how my friends felt like i'm gonna just let y'all know what's been going on um it definitely was a rough journey <laughs> i will say that but um yeah i feel free now so it's just like it is what it is honestly so if you guys are interested in hearing about my coming out story keep on watching okay so my coming out story is pretty unusual well i think it's i'm pretty sure there's people that can relate to me but it's like weird and all over the place because it's like i came out by accident then i denied it and went back to pretending I wasn't gay and then finally I came out again like it's weird it's like y'all gonna see what I'm talking about as I explain the story so I first realized that I was into females years ago like a long 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 time ago um even if you saw my story um, my story time on my first time ever with a female I'll leave that link down below just in case you guys haven't seen it um but yeah so this is a long time ago um, I found that I was interested in females because like it would be a couple walking past and my friends would be like, oh, that man look fine. And I just wouldn't find interest in the man. I would be like, no, that woman looks fine. Like I would break my neck looking at women like all the time. And not just that, because it's straight women out there that find other women attractive. Like if you're pretty, you're pretty fine. But no, like I was just like OD and like just super attracted to women like all the time even when i was younger i used to get bullied for it because you could you could you could tell when somebody gay just the way they act and just how they are you could tell when someone's gay and they're trying to act like they're not gay so i used to get bullied for it yeah um people used to be on my back because now it's like being gay is like a trend now so it's like everybody's gay so now everyone you know accepts it more you know how that goes but i've like literally always always um been gay um just didn't want to admit it <laughs> so yeah i used to get teased for it when i was younger like really really get teased for it um and it's crazy because those same females that teased me before for being gay they all want to talk to me now period but i ain't interested because i ain't got time for nobody playing with my emotions that's that on that but yeah, I've always been attracted to women and stuff like that. But um, I just wasn't quite sure like what it like. I didn't understand what I was feeling. It's like I've been I was raised to, you know, like men, you know, you're a woman. You need to like men. That's just the way life goes. That's what I was taught. Um, and that's what I've seen on TV and stuff like that. And I was just like, I felt out of place. Like it felt so wrong. That's why I didn't want to act on it. But it's like. So then finally, one day I was on the phone with this girl. Um, we're going to call her Trey Trey for short, okay? Um, I, think I'm, I think I got her on Instagram still. She's such a sweetheart. But um, yeah, we're going to call her Trey Trey. So Trey Trey um, was my first like official girlfriend, like my first official girlfriend. So we would like always be on the phone, like the house phone. It's back when I had the house phone, the house phone was jumping. We would always be on the phone all the time. Like we would be talking to each other on Facebook and everything. Like we were girlfriend and girlfriend. So one day, like we were flirting on the phone. I don't remember what we were talking about. I remember, no, actually I do. I don't know why I'm lying. I remember some of what we were talking about. But I remember I was talking about, I wanted to, you know, eat her. Meow. We were having like a freaky phone conversation. Like, yeah, being grown, thinking we was grown, talking grown, like that's what we were doing. Um, and I didn't think anyone heard me because I was actually like trying my hardest to whisper. And I was just like being real discreet. Cause like I said, at the moment I was still, you know, trying to grasp and understand what I, what it was that I was feeling. And you know, like, why do I like women? I'm not supposed to like women, why do I like women? So like, I was real discreet about it. I wasn't trying to be loud. I didn't want anybody in the house to hear me because yeah i didn't want them to um 
so our conversation ended. We got the phone, whatever you know, conversation comes to an end. Um, got the phone, and then I just went about my day. I think I was walking out to the living room to come spend time with my family, and almost as if it didn't happen. Then I remember my mom pulled me to the side, and she was like, who were you on the phone with? I was like, my friend Trey Trey, why? Um, and she like, so it's a girl, correct? I said, yeah, doesn't it sound like a female? And she was like, so you're gay. When I tell y'all my mouth opened so wide and dropped that it almost hit the floor, I was just like, Like, I was trying to figure out why she said, I'm like, Ma, why you why you said I'm not gay? Like, what are you talking about? Like, what? I like boys. Like, what? And she was like, I heard y'all conversation. I heard you talking about, you know what? Um, and she was like, I've always noticed little things. And she was like, I know that you like girls. She was like, you're my daughter. I know you're gay. Like, how would I not know that my child is gay? I've just been waiting for you to say it. But she's still not trying to say it. But you just confirmed it for me after I heard that phone conversation. And I was just like, wow. So I remember in a moment, I was just like, all right, yeah, you're right, I'm gay. And she was just basically saying that she already knew that. And she was like, you don't ever have to hide anything from me. She was like, as long as you respect me and as long as you make something of yourself, um, I don't care who you like sexually. Like, that doesn't change anything for me. You're my child and I love you. And that was the sweetest thing ever. Like, just knowing that your mom is by your side during your, you know, your transitional phase, you know, figuring out what you want. Just knowing that you, no matter what you choose, no matter what you decide, and no matter who you decide to be or what you like, your your mom is just 100% supportive. It is amazing. It is the best feeling in the world, and it makes things, just, you know, go by 10 times go 10 times smoother like seriously so at that point i just accepted it i was just like okay she knows i'm gay i know i'm gay we know i'm gay like okay i'm gay period so i was just dealing with women but then i don't know why it was still back when being gay wasn't really a trend yet and people were still like teasing you for it and stuff like that so i just felt like i was just so weak-minded at the time and i still just wasn't ready to I wasn't ready to come out I wasn't ready to accept it I wasn't ready to deal with people's opinions and their judgment I just I wasn't ready so then I to prove to everyone that I was straight because a lot of people were able to tell that I was gay to prove to everyone that I was straight I went and started freaking dating boys again right why I don't know <laughs> but um I wanted to prove that I was straight and I also had my friend because I was telling my friend um, from a, a lo an old friend telling her, you know, I'm, I'm lesbian. I finally decided to come to terms with my sexuality. And she was like, how you know you lesbian if you've never like actually like been with a guy? And, and I was like, true. She got a point because her point was how you know you don't like something if you never had it. So I was like, yeah, true. You have a point. Um, how can I know I don't like something if I've never tried it? So she was like, actually give a guy a chance like get into a serious relationship with them take him seriously see how things go and if you really don't like guys after dating like seriously um you'll be able to tell and i was like okay i like your i like your theory i'll give it a shot so like i said i started dating guys you know going on dates whatever i think i've had maybe like two serious relationship with guys um and i just knew it wasn't for me because no matter how good these men would treat me, the only thing on my mind all of the time was a woman. Not a specific woman, but just a woman. Like, I just, I, I wanted to be touched by a woman. I wanted to touch a woman. I wanted to be in the presence of a woman. I wanted to date a woman. Like, I wanted to marry a woman. Like, I just, I want, like, I, I like women like i like women like it is what it is um no one can ever say i didn't try and there are a lot of lesbians that have tried dealing with men and if they tell you they didn't they're lying trust me um yeah it's a lot of not i'm not saying all because there are some that really haven't tried but um a lot of us have tried dealing with men because we have a hard time accepting that we're gay or we just want to make sure that we really are lesbian you know what i mean so I tried it and I like I said I just kept thinking about women 
every guy I've ever dealt with, I have cheated on them with a woman. I promise, whether they found out or whether they didn't. I have cheated on every guy I've ever been with with a woman. But I have never, ever, ever cheated on a woman with a guy because I'm really not interested in guys. Like, no woman has to worry about me messing around with a guy behind their back. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> like, so yeah. And then I was just like, yeah, I'm unhappy with guys. No matter how, they can literally, literally buy me diamonds. They could buy me roses. You know what I mean? They can put crystals in my bath water. I don't know. I don't know. Just think of the most romantic thing ever in the world. A guy can do that. And it wouldn't satisfy me at all. But let a woman do it. And it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> like, I just, I like women. I don't know how else to explain that. Like, I don't know how else to explain that. And up until recently, I was still trying to deny being lesbian. I even went through this bisexual phase saying, hey, I like both, I like both, I like both. I don't like both. I like one. I like women, girls only, period. Like, but um, I went through this bisexual phase and I was still dating guys to prove that I like them. And I just, I didn't. Like, what, ladies, don't force yourself to like something you don't. Be who you are, no matter who you think is going to judge. You live one life, and why make yourself unhappy? Put yourself first. That's all I can say. Put yourself first. Like, seriously. So up until recently, I finally came to terms that, you know, I like women, and that's just it. And only women. Um, and even my last relationship, oh my gosh, I talked about that on here with you guys, too. Um, it turned into a domestic situation. But, um yeah even if he wasn't abusive um that relationship is going to come to an end anyway because throughout the relationship i never told him because i didn't know how to really break it to him but um i was like i said i was realizing that i actually am lesbian and our relationship was going to have to come to an end one way or another anyway because a lesbian can't date a guy we can't we don't we don't like men so I just, I was literally trying to figure out how to tell him that anyways. Um, but then he started being all abusive and controlling and stuff. So it was just like, okay, you don't respect me. So I'm not even going to respect you enough to even tell you what's going on in my mind. Like, cause that relationship was just dead anyway, whether I was gay or straight, that relationship had to go. But, um, yeah, so I finally just decided I'm not going to lead anyone, any other guys on. I'm not going to pretend to like guys so no one will judge me. You know, if it happens, it happens. You know, who are you to judge me? Period. That's just, that's just that. And then recently, I say maybe about two to three weeks ago, my mom and I had the same exact conversation that we had years ago. My mom was just like, are you ready to finally um, admit that you're lesbian? As I said a long time ago. Um, well, I'm just, I'm making the words a little bit nicer because my mom is a little harsh. My mom just has, like, she's a sweetheart and she loves and supports her family and loved ones to the fullest. But my mom has, like, a dark sense of humor. So, yeah, I tend to switch her words up when I come on here because if I tell y'all exactly what my mother be saying, some of y'all feelings might be hurt. And listen, y'all not about to be going off on my mother, period, because I don't play about that one. So, yeah, I be making her words a little bit kinder, a little more appropriate for the Internet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so more appropriate version of what my mom said. Are you ready to admit that you're lesbian? Um, I know you're gay. You seem happier with women. Um, I feel like you just date guys so you can prove that you're not gay, but I already know that you're gay. As I said before, I knew you was gay all this time. And I was just like, Mom, okay, I am gay, and I was in denial. That's why I ended up dating, um, you know, guys trying to prove that I was straight to all of you. Um, and that's why I went horribly wrong, because it's not meant to be. It's not my destiny. I don't like guys. <laughs> like, I am lesbian. But that doesn't change anything about me. I'm still me. I just like the same sex. I mean, it's nothing bad about that. And she just like I like and she just basically said the same thing again. I knew you was gay. I love you. I'm proud of you. And you're my baby. Period. 
And I talked to my best friend about it and my best friend was just like, yeah, I already knew you was gay all this time, girl. She was like, you need to stick to women, stop playing around. She was like, that's why your relationships don't be working and that's why you be having these problems and that's why you be thinking about women all the time. Like, she said, you're the gayest person I know. <laughs> Basically, to sum it up, and my best friend loves me to death. Like, that's it. It's over. You're gay, China, be gay. <laughs> that's it. And I have a lot of other family members that watch my YouTube videos, so I know they've seen my little gay story times. And I know they see what I talk about on social media and stuff. So, um, I didn't come out directly to all of my other family members because it's just like, I don't know. Like, they got me on social media. They, they know what it is. But I definitely came out to my mom finally, as I just said, and my friends, my social media, I came out to them as well. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm just living in my truth now, um, dating women. <laughs> That's what I've always liked. That's what I like. That's what I love. Um, and I'm just being myself, doing what I like, dating who I like, and just being free. I'm just, I, I feel so free. I feel at peace. Um, yeah. So to anyone watching this, if you came across this video because you searched it up or if you came across it because it was recommended to you and you are, you know, gay as well, but you're having a hard time coming out to your family and friends, I just, I hope this video gives you that push. Um, sometimes you may be overthinking it because I was overthinking it and come to find out my mom didn't even uh like react bad or she didn't even care like to be like oh my god get out like she was just like i love you i knew you were gay <laughs> like you know what i mean so to anyone that's overthinking it um just do it go for it live in your truth be free you live one life don't be in the closet forever because um it, it'll cause you to be unhappy and you shouldn't want to be unhappy put yourself first you like what you like um, your sexuality does not define you. It does not change who you are. You are still a productive member of society. You are still amazing. You are loved. And anyone that can't accept you, whether it's family or friends, if they can't accept you for who you are, then they don't deserve to be in your life. And that's just it. Like, that's it. And also to my bisexual girls, because I told you I went through a bisexual phase when I was trying to figure out you know exactly what it is that I wanted um my sexuality isn't just a phase you know it was a phase for me because I only like women but um if you're bisexual that's fine don't have anyone because I had people trying to make it seem like trying to trying to play me you know when I was going through my bisexual phase but if you're like really bisexual like and you're 100% sure and you really like men and women there's nothing wrong with that it's lgbtq okay there's a b in there for bisexuality um, you're not confused. Confusion is saying, I don't know what I want at all. So if you're saying you're bisexual, you're not confused at all. You're, you like men and women, you know what you want. Don't make nobody, don't let nobody make you feel out of place because you're bisexual. Okay. We all matter on the LGBT, BTQ scale. Okay. So I just, I just wanted to say that cause I know there's a lot of bisexual girls. They be trying to, they be getting played out. And there's nothing wrong with being bisexual. If you're bi, you're bi. If you're lesbian, you're lesbian. Queer, transgender, gay. The whole scale. We all matter. We're all amazing. Be who you are. Live in your truth. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And like I said, I hope it gave you that push. Okay. <laughs> Um, I love you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel so you can become a China doll today. And if you are a return to China doll, I love you guys so much. Y'all know I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Period. <laughs> um, and bye guys.